It is one of the largest unresolved conflicts since the Second World War. Hidden in the troubled waters of the North Pacific, where the vastness of Siberia meets the mystique of Japan, are the Kuril Islands, an archipelago of considerable geopolitical significance. These seemingly inconspicuous islands, often overlooked on the maps of the great powers, are in fact a focal point of decades of tension. They represent not only the unresolved shadows of the Second World War, but also the ongoing ambitions of two of the world's once most powerful nations, Japan and Russia. And the Ukraine war has also reopened these old wounds. While Japan is now fully rearming, it is now reclaiming the Kuril Islands from Russia once and for all. But why did they fall into Russia's hands in the first place, why does Japan absolutely need them and why are they of such central geopolitical importance? We take a look at all these fascinating questions in today's video. The Kuril Islands are located in the North Pacific and form a natural bridge between Russia and Japan. They lie exactly between the Russian peninsula of Kamchatka and the Japanese island of Hokkaido, which is why the two superpowers have repeatedly clashed at this point. After all, whoever controls the Kuril Islands also de facto controls all access to the Sea of Okhotsk and the surrounding areas. And so, from the year 1800 onwards, several treaties were signed in an attempt to clarify territorial issues and thus minimize tensions. However, there were repeated disagreements and the treaties were broken again and again, so that the Great Russo-Japanese War finally broke out in the year 1904. However, this war ended in a military disaster for Russia and in the subsequent peace treaty, Japan received the southern parts of the Kuril Islands as well as Korea and parts of Manchuria. However, Japan's hunger was far from satisfied and in the following decades it rose to become a major Asian power. During the Second World War, it was not only able to conquer a large part of East Asia but also expand far into the South Pacific. However, while there were brutal battles with the Americans, there was virtually no hostile activity between the USSR and Japan until the year 1945. This only changed in the final days of the war. On August 8 of the year 1945, shortly after the atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the Soviet Union declared war on Japan. Within a short time, Soviet troops launched an offensive against the Japanese forces in Manchuria and rapidly advanced southwards. At the same time, Soviet forces began to occupy the Kuril Islands, and by the end of the month they had the entire island chain under their control. And from then on, the long disputes over the Kuril Islands began. While most of the territories conquered by Japan from the early 1920 years onwards had been revoked in the Allied treaties, there was disagreement over the southern Kuril Islands. The Americans regarded them as an integral part of Japanese territory, while the Soviet Union claimed them for itself. We can see from this the Cold War that was already brewing. The strategic location of the Kuril Islands in the North Pacific made them an important point in the Soviet Union's defense network against possible threats from the USA. The islands were quickly transformed into an outpost of Soviet military presence, with bases, radar stations and other military facilities. But they were also of inestimable geopolitical importance for Japan, which recovered quickly after the war and became a close ally of the USA to guard against a possible new Soviet invasion. They have since been referred to as the Japanese Northern Territory and the US supported Japan's position. And so all attempts to resolve the dispute over the Kuril Islands diplomatically failed. The deep divide between East and West and the strategic importance of the islands left little room for compromise. And even after the collapse of the Soviet Union, no unified solution was found. To this day, not even a peace treaty has been signed between Japan and Russia. It was only in the year 2018, during the East Asia Summit in Singapore, that Russian President Vladimir Putin and the then Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe discussed the issue again and agreed to renegotiate. However, these talks ended abruptly when Russia withdrew from the negotiations in March of the year 2022 in response to Japan's sanctions over the invasion of Ukraine. Since then, Japan's stance has also changed from balanced to confrontational. Japan now speaks of illegal occupation of the southern Kuril Islands, describes them as an inherent part of Japan and demands that Russia cede them immediately. In addition, the sanctions have been tightened even further and Japan is clearly backing Ukraine. And the country, which has been committed to pacifism since the Second World War, is now massively rearming itself militarily. In doing so, it is not only countering the expansion of Russian military facilities on its northern border, but also the massive armament of China. While the focus to date has been on defensive weapons systems, Japan is now also investing in the ability to launch offensive retaliatory strikes over long distances. 
The tone in the North Pacific is therefore becoming much harsher and the hope of an early peace treaty and a solution to the Kuril conflict has become much less likely as a result of the war in Ukraine.